Hi, my name is Mohamed Saif Farouk. I'm a first year medical student with the University of Sunderland. Before we begin, please can I confirm your full name and date of birth? And am I okay to call you Nancy? Hi Nancy, I've been asked by the GP to test some of your cranial nerves. These supply your face and your neck. Is this something you've had tested before? It isn't. Would you like me to briefly describe the test before we begin? That's fine. So in this test, I'll be testing things such as your vision, looking at this Snell chart, I'll be looking at your visual fields, and I'll also be trying a light into your eyes and looking at your pupil reflexes. Is that okay with you? There's no pain expected, but if you do feel uncomfortable at any stage, just let me know. So firstly, do you wear glasses or contact lenses at the moment, Nancy? You do. If you, are you okay to put them on for me? That's fine. So firstly, if you can just cover up one of your eyes and read some of these letters and read down this little chart for me. That's fine, and if you can cover up the opposite eye, repeat that again for me. Excellent. So for the next part, I'm going to look at your pupil reflexes. So what I'm going to need you to do is just to look at me and focus on the point behind me. I'm just going to ask if you can bridge your hand over your nose, and I'm just going to shine this light into your eyes. Is that okay? That's fine. And on the opposite side. I'm now going to shine light between your eyes. Thank you. And now I'm going to look at the ability of your eyes to focus. So if you can look at the point behind me, then onto the tip of this pen. And again onto a point behind me, and then onto the tip of this pen. Excellent. So now I'm going to look at something called the inattention, where I'm just going to twitch my fingers and I'll need you to let me know which finger you see twitching, and you can just point at that finger. So, if you can just point at the twitching finger, and again. Brilliant. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is to cover up one of your eyes, and I'm going to bring my finger into your field of view, and you just let me know when you can see it. So if you can cover up your eye, and I'll cover up the same eye, and just let me know when you can see it. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to repeat the same thing with the opposite eye, so if you can cover up that for me. Yep. And normally we'd also perform something called a fundoscopy, looking at the back of your eye and shining a light there. But we won't be doing that for the purpose of this OSCE, and we'd also be doing a colour vision chart, and again, we won't be doing that again. This is because we don't have that equipment. So for the next part of the test, I'm going to test one of the movements of your eyes. So what I'm going to need you to do is to focus on a point behind me and follow my finger with your pupils. And if you experience any double vision throughout this test, just let me know. And just follow my finger, keeping your head still. Excellent. And did you experience any double vision throughout that? That's fine. Well, that completes the examination. Thank you very much for your time. On examining Nancy, no abnormalities were seen in her vision, her visual fields, and in her pupillary reflexes. Further tests could have included a complete cranial nerve examination. Thank you very much for your time.